we've done the Science Olympics for a number of years, and I keep doing it because I feel that it gives the boys a chance to work in groups larger than they usually do in a lab. They have to collaborate, working as a team, and, and the succeeding as a team and sometimes failing as a team is what is useful because each of them realizes he needs to uh, make a contribution. The other part of it I think that is really valuable is the whole matter of trial and error. I don't give them any clues or anything. They just get the directions for how to make a mousetrap car, how to make a, a catapult, and uh, they get the guidelines, they've got to read them, and then they go into the whole mode of build and fix and build and fix, which I think is a good, is a good learning experience that they find that um, trial and error is what really is going to lead to, lead to the best project. I tried to like balance the weight like a lot on the legs. Like I tried to put a lot of support on the legs. We have our mousetrap here. This is attached to a fishing rod. We have string on the end. So we pull this back here, loop it on this hook on the axle, and then spin these back. The mousetrap pulls back here, and when this goes, the wheels spin forward and it propels it. And that's a free spinning wheel, so that just goes forward. And it's up! And they're up! It's going! Not very far. Also wood frame with brass rods for uh, axles, uh, a straw with some hanger inside of it for the lever arm, and then CD discs for the wheels and balloons wrapped around the back for traction. Oh, So I was interested to see why it floats so slowly. So what made you put the holes where it is and the, uh, and the creases? Uh, I found out that a hole will actually slow it down and creases also contribute to it being slow.